This is James Kidder with Mobile News for the ZDNet blog system. And today I'm going to show you Log Me In Ignition running on the Android equipped Samsung Galaxy Tab. Now, the latest version of Log Me In Ignition for Android has been optimized for tablet sized devices. It still works on smartphones, but optimized for bigger screens. So I use it quite a bit, so I'm going to show it to you in action. I fired it up and it brings up my default group of, uh, of systems that I can control remotely through LogMeIn. My uh, X200 is offline, the U260 Windows device is online, as is my MacBook. So let's just tap and go straight into the MacBook and it's going to log in now. It's already been configured with my login security information. And it, once it does this, it's going to fire it up. Now this is a MacBook with an external monitor connected to it. Um, so it's a, two, a dual monitor system. Now we're already in. You see my, my initial primary Mac desktop. I can pinch and zoom move in. Now I have it set to always have the cursor in the center of the screen and I move the, uh, the the desktop around and I actually find that to be easier. You can however go in and change it to mouse moves which I'll actually I'll show that to you. And that's as you watch the cursor move around as does the screen pan. I simply find that the, uh, the, the, the screen moving is a lot more consistent and once you get practice with that it's very easy to do. Now this is fall, I'm completely controlling my MacBook system. It's, uh, it's big, it's a uh, 19, I forget what the uh, resolution is, it's a 24 inch monitor, but I can just move right or move the cursor over whatever I want to do and tap to click and fire up anything. I've, this is the finder window and again it's very fluid. You can pinch and zoom, move, pan around, you can do whatever you want. And we can close that. I'm on Wi-Fi right now but it's fairly quick. Everything is happening. Now like I said this is a dual monitor system so let's go to our second monitor over here display 2 which is actually the MacBook display and I have TweetDeck running over there so I can do whatever. You see how good the uh, resolution is. I can see everything nice and fine. I can actually tweet using the the tab keyboard. Tweeting on video. I'll get everybody uh, and so we actually just submitted a tweet here but anyway again pinch and zoom it's full fully capable uh, Lime in Ignition on, on Android or iOS or the iPhone or iPad for example is really good for tech support staff who have to remotely support other users and this bigger screen on the Galaxy Tab or other uh, Android tablets that are about to come to market is a really nice method as I hope this demonstrates pretty clearly. So we'll get back to our primary display. Nice and quick. Now I have this configured on Windows which I can't do on the Mac to blank out the desktop wallpaper which actually makes it display a lot faster and more fluid. I, there, there's actually a lot more um, settings options that can be set, a few more 
on Windows systems. But it works just like it, it did on the, uh, the Mac. It's very easy to do things like fire up the, uh, the menu. Now if I want to right click, I just hit this little mouse and now tapping is a right click. Which is cool. Set it back to left click. There's my con control panel. I mean, this is this is a Windows 7 system. Now, interestingly enough, even though I'm using the arrow interface in Windows 7 on the desk on the laptop, when I remotely come in to make things run better, it's actually set it to classic. It's turn arrow off, not classic. It's turn arrow off which is very very handy. So let's fire up tweet deck over here, shall we? On our Windows machine, but this is a great way to remotely support other systems. If you're one of those people who always has to support your family systems, it looks like tweet there we go. Twitter's a little slow today. Uh, if you have to support your family systems, you know, your relatives, this is a great way to do it, you know, and Aunt Sally calls you up, I can't check my email, what do I do? You can actually log in remotely and see how she screwed things up as you know she has and save yourself a, a nice little trip. But this has been, actually, let's check one thing. One thing this is really good for actually I find. Let me uh, zoom in here. Like when I'm out working around town remotely and I realize I haven't let's say uh, done a spyware scan for a while because I don't leave my laptop systems running all night every night so I don't have it set up. I can actually come in this way I just started a, a malware scan in uh, Microsoft Security Essentials and just let that go on its merry way while I'm in the coffee shop or wherever working remotely and not worrying about it and when I come home it's done it's also a good way to uh, to to apply Windows updates too, which actually I haven't checked this system in a while. Let me make sure we don't have any uh, Windows updates. Let's see. Oops. It's having a bit of a hard time with this hover menu. There we go. Windows updates. Oh, we do have one, see? Four important and two optional. Let's see what we've got here. I'm actually getting uh, maintenance done while on the video here with you. But I do want to check this. Microsoft Other Hardware USB Mouse. Definitions update for security essentials. Well, let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Don't worry, I'm going to cancel that spyware scan once I start this. Okay. And we'll go down here and cancel this. Yeah. There we go. If it's still, oh, it's already finished anyway. Oh no, it hasn't. There we go. Yeah, it has finished. Okay. So anyway, this is our, our remote maintenance session on a Windows system, courtesy of Logman Ignition for Android, running on the Samsung Galaxy Tab, and also runs on, on any uh, smartphones, I believe, running Android 1.6 or above. So this has been James Kendrick with Mobile News on ZDNet.